Alright, hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So this reading here is for my Taurus Zodiac sign. Uh, this is a love and relationship quick or sprint reading. Um, before I dive into it, let me just say this is a general reading, so this may not resonate with you. If it does, everything may not be for you in this reading. It could be messages for someone else. So take what does and leave the rest. Also, energies are fluid and interchangeable, so energies can cross, and if you need to, Please flip the energies that best resonate with you. So let's go ahead and get the overall energy of Taurus towards love and relationships. What's the overall energy of Taurus? Queen of Swords is what's popped out. Clarify Queen of Swords, please. Clarify Queen of Swords. Clarify Queen of Swords, please. Clarify Queen of Swords. One more. Clarify Queen of Swords, please. One more. Clarify Queen of Swords, please. Clarify Queen of Swords. Clarify Queen of Swords, please. Clarify Queen of Swords. Ooh, the full is on the bottom. So this is a, this is like enjoying it. Taking it one day at a time. Just living in the moment. Not really planning things out. So, Taurus, what I'm seeing is you're this Queen of Swords energy, okay? You're in this Gemini Libra Aquarius energy. You're kind of um, very guarded. You have a wall up. You're not really willing to let somebody in. You're very um, intellectual. So you think with your mind, not with your heart. You don't let your emotions get too involved. Um, you're cautious about who you let into your life, who you allow to come in, into your life, and who you allow to see, um, see your heart, okay? The Knight of Wands here, this is telling me that you're a very... Um, passionate person okay you could be very sexual type of player type energy someone that is kind of free-flowing um, the passion is hot so like when you find someone you like you jump right into it but as quick as you jump into it is as quick as you leave this is like that player type of energy so you don't really take anything um, like relationship serious okay nine of pentacles you have a lot to offer here the nine of pentacles this is someone who's very stable Okay, you have your ducks in a row. You have your finances together. You're very luxurious. You may uh, rock some of the finest things, dress the finest way, rock some of the finest jewelry, shoes, things like that. Um, you may just have your, your shit together, you know? All of your shit together. Queen of Pentacles. If you do get into a relationship, you have a lot to offer here. Okay, you feel like you have a lot to offer. But I feel like this is... Um, if you were to meet someone, you would have to find your match, okay? They will have to match you as your as your queen. I mean, they will have to match you as your king, okay? Not trying to genderize the, um, this is not a gender-specific reading, so I just take the energies. But this is turning out to be like a feminine energy. So it's like when someone comes into your life, they have to be on theirs just like you are on yours because you have a lot to offer. You can be a very committed person, someone very stable to be with someone that has a lot to offer but right now you're very guarded that's the leading card is the guardedness the queen of swords here your queen as far as financial st financial stability like you have your your house together your condo together your apartment together whatever it is you live you have your car your job your your business whatever it is you have that together and you're just kind of taking it by the moment taking it by the day okay the full card as far as relationships. Okay, let's clarify. What is the energy surrounding Taurus? What is the energy surrounding Taurus here? What is the energy or feeling surrounding Taurus? What is the energy or feeling surrounding Taurus as far as loving relationships? What is the energy surrounding Taurus? Okay, that, that's way too many. Let me do that again. I only need one. I only need one. Not that many. What is the energy of the person surrounding Taurus as far as love and relationships? One card, please. There we go. Eight of Pentacles. What is the energy? Well, clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles. One more. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles, please. Okay. I will pull it. I will pull it. Since you want it, I will pull it. It 
spit out one extra card. I'm going to pull it because it spit it out, so I feel that it is needed to be heard. All right, so the person, the energy of the person that's surrounding you is the Eight of Pentacles. This is someone very focused, um, kind of like studying and mastering their um, ability. They could be working hard on like projects that they have, or they could be working hard on um, their job or their business. The energy that surrounded them is some type of heartache here, Nine of Swords. They're going through some type of heartache, some type of sadness here. They they could be up late nights, okay, thinking about things, thinking about you, okay. King of Swords, they're very guarded as well. Here you are as the Queen, and they're appearing as the King of Swords. So they are very guarded as well. They have like a wall up where they're very defensive, very intellectual, not too quick to let someone in, okay. Um, this person could be like in law school, a, 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 could be a lawyer, a businessman or something like that, work for the government or something like that, someone very serious. Yeah, at one point it's like they were happy and then something happened that crushed that happiness and kind of like stabbed them in the back. I don't know if... It, if it was you, okay, like you felt like, um, maybe you felt like they did something to you, and so you could have kind of cut them off very quickly, abruptly, like they felt as if you guys were getting along, you were, you know, working on something together, but they're going through some type of heartache, okay, it's like they're happy, but they're dealing with some type of betrayal as well, this person that's surrounding you. Um, but let's see. And then with the page of pentacles on the bottom, this is this is them telling me that they're kind of quite unsure about you. And I think it has a lot to do with the queen of swords. Maybe they tried to, um, even as they're in the king of swords, maybe you guys, it's like you guys are reflecting each other. You're the queen, they're the king. But you're so defensive, you're not really willing to let anything show. There's no cups here. Okay. Let's clarify. What is the outcome? It's like you won't, both of you won't let each other know how you're feeling. So it's like you guys are just, what is the outcome? Clarify the outcome. One more please. Clarify the outcome. Please. Clarify the outcome of these two images. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah. At one point, it's like there could have been happiness here. You guys could have been happy at one point here with the Ten of Cups on the bottom felt fulfilled, felt like everything, especially with the sun card here, felt like you guys, oh, I'm sorry, guys, felt like you you guys were getting along, right? There could have been some type of instance where an argument happened, okay? Or this could have been, like, someone trying to get their point across. Again, you both are very intellectual. You both are very guarded. You both have um, mastered the um, defense mechanism, okay? But it looks like Someone walked away from the other person here. Eight of Cups. It's like you were happy at one point with the Ten of Cups. Someone probably admitted, oh, I love you. I care about you. Announced that they cared. Page of Cups. Someone very hesitant, shy about saying it. It's like you guys wanted to admit it. Maybe somebody said it. And then that's why they were like, ooh, okay, this is rough. Feelings are involved. It's like you guys don't do emotions, Taurus. <laughs> You weren't really ready for emotions, and now you guys are, like, very guarded, very, um, like, you cut each other off. <laughs> but I feel like this person is dealing with it by being sad, being upset, maybe crying late nights and things like that. And your way of dealing with it is by, um, how can I say it, without... You know, not trying to disrespect you or anything, Taurus, but your way of dealing with it is maybe one night stands <laughs> to keep yourself from um, being emotionally attached. Let's see. Any more insight you would like to give? Any more insight you would like to give on these two energies? Any more insight you would like to give on these two energies? Is it safe for you to love? Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. 
and getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. I feel like that's what happened, okay? It's like you guys felt like, okay, it's okay to come in. I want to talk to them and, and let them know how I feel. And it's like, that's what you did. But as the mastery of your queen of swords and the master of your king, the master of their king of swords, the getting to know each other became very deep. And it's like you guys became uncomfortable about letting each other know how you truly feel. And that's why you guys or someone walked away because they started getting in their feelings here. And started getting in their feelings and started seeing things differently. And it's like, I feel like it's you because here they are. They're very butthurt over here. They're very butthurt. Ten of Swords. It's like they let their guard down. Because what I'm seeing on the bottom of the deck here, and I hope you can see this. What I'm seeing on the bottom is, of the deck is Ten of Cups. And then I see Knight of Cups. They could have announced their love to you. But you weren't really sure about opening up to them. Okay? You weren't really sure about opening up to them. And it's like the moment you realize that feelings were starting to get involved. And you were like, is this is this okay for me to love them? Do I love them? It's like, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to walk away. I'm not going to do it. I can't open up. And I'm not going to open up. And you walked away. Um, let's see. What is, the, what, is, what is the advice you would like to give Taurus here? What is the advice you would like to give to Taurus here for this reading? What is the advice that you would like to give? Whoa. Anything else? Anything else you would like to give to Taurus? Okay. Wow. A couple of cards popped out. The first one is reach out. Okay. I feel like that's what they did. They reached out to you. They tried to talk to you. Let you know how they felt. But I feel like this is for you as well. You're guarded and you're cut off. And it's like you don't want to let them know how you feel. And... If you don't want to be in a relationship, okay, I can understand that. But if this is someone that you want to be with, then you have to be willing to open up to them and talk to them. We also have the heal card, okay? There's some healing going on here. I feel like you need to heal as well as they need to heal because the way you're dealing with it, by sleeping around or messing around or one night stands or just kind of cutting people off, using them kind of for sex, <laughs> like... It's, 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 it's something you have to do internally. You need to heal. So maybe take some time to yourself and just work on your healing process. The next card is sadness and isolation. I feel like this is more of what they, they are doing. But you are also doing as well because you're kind of isolating yourself from um, being vulnerable. Okay, You're isolating yourself from being vulnerable to a relationship. And this person here is also isolating themselves by kind of being up late at night, you know, just kind of working on their own self or working on themselves. Like, I, they have kind of isolated because they're sad about the breakup. But um, that is what I have for you today, Taurus. I hope that this helps. I hope that you resonate. Before ending this video, let me just tell you guys I am doing a giveaway for this beautiful deck here. It's the Good Tarot. I was not able to connect with this deck the way that I wanted to, so I would like to give it away to someone that could really benefit from this beautiful deck here. So the way that you enter, the drawing will be on October 23rd for my birthday. I would like to do a giveaway. All you have to do to enter is just like this video and comment down below that you are interested, and I will enter your name for the drawing. And on October 23rd, I will be going live to do the drawing to announce the winner. So if you're interested, make sure you like this video, go down and comment down below so that I can enter your name into the drawing. So far, I have two people that have wanted to uh, volunteer, to, um, to, well, that have wanted to be entered in. So I'm hoping that there's more, guys. If you really are interested in the deck, please, please, please comment down below, let me know, and I will enter your name into the drawing. But anyways, guys, that's all I have for you today, and I will catch you next time.